effort with the scientists from the United States, our very own scientists. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to everyone. I am glad to be standing here in front of you today, leaders and the brightest minds in the field of science, technology, and innovation. Today marks a historic milestone for both of our countries as we venture into a joint cooperation that will usher in more opportunities for science and technology in line with our inclusive development efforts. Having the government of the United States as our partner for, for scientific and technological programs will surely boost our success towards effort that will mutually benefit both of our countries. We consider this a new chapter in our nation's enduring partnership and friendship with the United States. Primarily because a lot has changed since President Billy Lapino has identified science and technology as a vital tool to fulfill his social contract with the Filipino people. It is under President Aquino's leadership that the Department of Science and Technology has become a permanent member of the country's economic team. It is testament underlying the President's belief that in the pursuit of Tuit Nadaan, or straight path, adopting a development framework anchored on exclusive growth, transparency, and improvement of productivity based on science, technology, and innovation. President Benigno S. Aquino III said it best that innovation is the engine of any modern economy. He goes on further by saying, this modern economy will not happen overnight, but if you put premium on innovation in dreaming bigger and doing better and always reaching further with our talents, then it will only be a matter of time until we get there. Meanwhile, U.S. President Obama also noted that the nation progress is deeply rooted in the scientific discipline. I, will not, I could not agree more when he mentioned that science is more essential for our prosperity, our security, our health, our environment, and our quality of life than it has ever been. And if there ha was ever a day that reminded us of our shared stake in science and technology and research, it is today. Our countries may be located on opposite ends of the world, but we know the immediate and long-term challenges we face are essentially the same. Climate change and its impact, adequate food supply to feed the people, and challenges to healthcare arising from new threats, such as Ebola, to name a few. This partnership that grows from long-standing relationship between our two, con two countries comes at a very opportune time when we are facing challenges that will shape the whole future, not just for individual nations, but also of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, with the guidance provided by both of our esteemed leaders, we are embarking on a mission of scientific cooperation that will help address our mutual concern so that our citizens can enjoy the benefits of science, technology, and innovation that this partnership could bring now and into the future. For its part, since the Aquino administration made a pledge to serve the Filipino people four years ago, the USD has put a premium on the pursuit of continuing innovation anchored on technological self-reliance. This required a parallel shift as the department started aligning and focusing its effort to programs that directly translate to benefit the Filipinos. We have identified critical strategic technologies, namely genomics, LiDAR technology, remote sensing, biotechnology, nanotechnology, advanced manufacturing technologies, among others. We are investing on in facilities, supporting capacity building, supporting our future scientists, engaging into collaboration with countries like the United States, we are also supporting programs that will be utilizing these technologies to address many of our concerns and to improve the quality of life of the Philippines. A shining example of this scientific cooperation is our humble project, No One, and the dream. 
taking the challenge to help bring our community, communities to safety and to prevent further losses of lives from floods. The DOST, upon the instructions of the President, embarked on Project NOAA to create an integrated flood early warning system that can warn communities along the river system six hours ahead of the rising flood waters. By adopting technology self-reliance approach, we have developed our own know-how in light in LiDAR technology for mapping and developing our own weather sensors that are cost-effective and, and also that meet global standards. Our university-based scientists and engineers are almost done in mapping 100,000 square kilometers of river basin using LiDAR technology. Also, we are now beginning to expand the use of LiDAR technology to other areas like smart agriculture and urban flooding management. Beyond the project actual implementation, our experience in Project NOAA and DREAM opened up opportunities for international collaboration with scientists and global institutions, including American agencies and companies. As testament to this, a significant portion of the project today is running on a supercomputer donated by IBM. Our scientists in the Philippines have been working with experts from the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration as one of our foremost global partners. From this experience, one thing become clearer. Partnership allow us a better chance to achieve our goals. And while previous partnership have already proved to be benefits of working together, we know we could achieve more through better coordination of our initiative. In this instance, what we need today is a more formal framework of collaboration, and I believe such is the purpose of this agreement to start building this framework that would allow us to become more strategic in our combined efforts and in areas of high priority. And at this point, I wish to commend the exemplary work that have been done by both of our teams in identifying priority areas of our collaboration, as mentioned earlier by Yusek Ami. Uh, all the baby steps we took together for the past years while we're paying for this momentous day are the same bricks that would make the foundation of this cooperation stronger. Emerging and developing nations such as the Philippines have much to gain from building local capacity in scientific and development projects by pursuing international collaboration with innovation leaders such as the United States. In the same vein, more developed nations have much to gain from the partnership with developing countries like the Philippines that have a unique advantage of having worked us out in the talent, and because of our rich biodiversity, a source of scientific information that could provide the missing pieces in solution for global challenges. Of course, the Philippines, like no other place in the globe, is a veritable tropical laboratory where we can develop further studies on adaptation to climate change and mitigation of disastrous effects. This means back to our cooperation today, by harnessing our strength I have high hopes that the partnership between our, country, between our government will provide a two-way exchange in terms of know-how and expertise, capacity building and sharing of information. Information is our major commodity in this cooperation, but like other commodities, information is clearly our ability to multiply its value when shared. Information has the power to move people to act and respond. The faster we share information, the quicker both of our scientists can respond to challenges. Therefore, the better chances we gain positive results. The United States leads the world in leveraging science and technology to drive innovation. We look up to you as a model in this regard and also taking this path. Let this cooperation come up with better ways on how we can continue to share information that are mutually beneficial in ways we could reinforce the environment of knowledge exchange and intellectual co collaboration. This area we are seeing potential collaboration in resolving co coconut pests or populisa that has been ravaging plantation in the Philippines. Our work with the Balik scientists from the U.S., for example, gave us an insight that the from the University of the Florida, insight on the United States put up a monitoring system for the best like coccolism. This is an example 
of helpful input to speed up research in the Philippines and developing similar system for us to enable us to be more proactive in combating this kind of problems. The pursuit of scientific discovery, as we know, takes time, patience, and a lot of support. In our case, it calls on the support of both of our nations. And it is an endeavor that we are willing to bet on because it holds a promise for a better world, better life. As our local scientists and policymakers prepare for the task at hand, I know that based on the synergy and the free flow of ideas beginning yesterday's session, that in this early, I'm optimistic of the great things we will achieve together in hope of growth, contributing to the global body of scientific and technical knowledge. Good morning and a boy.